Good morning. It is Thursday morning. It is just about seven o'clock in the morning. And I wanted to bring this topic to you today because sometimes it's just good to put something in front of us, even if we know about it, that way we can remind ourselves uh, and that we'll be accountable to ourselves. There's an American poet, she passed away several years ago, called Maya Angelou. For those of you who live overseas and may not be familiar. And she said, do the best that you can until you know better. And then when you know better, do better. So I want to talk just briefly about collagen. And uh, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. It is comprised of three proteins kind of twisted together that forms a fiber. And these fibers make up tendons, muscles. Uh, you, have, uh, fi you have collagen in your bones, in your teeth, in your nails, in your ligaments. Collagen is basically the glue that holds you together. So without collagen, it would just be a pile of bones on the floor, essentially. Now, collagen with another protein called elastin is what forms your skin. It creates the support in your skin. And this structure uh, can be compromised by several things. And this is one of what I want to mention to you today is the enemies of collagen. There are many things that can contribute to the breakdown of collagen, but I just want to talk about the key ones. And some of these you can completely avoid to slow the aging process. Now, when there is a breakdown of collagen, uh, when it has been compromised, you're gonna have, as a result, the aging um, uh, qualities like, of course, the sagging skin, wrinkles. You will also have stoop posture, uh, bruise easily. Uh, There's just so many things that, that happen as a result of breakdown of collagen. But some of the main enemies of collagen, sleep and the stress that comes from sleep deprivation. And I know that at our age, uh, we do have somewhat of a difficult time with sleep a lot of times. I know I did, and I still do to a certain extent. But it's important that if you do wake up during the night, don't stress over it. Just try to relax, try to do something beneficial, something positive, pass the time, but don't stress because this really prevents the body from rebuilding the collagen. Also, sunlight, and we know this. We know this, we see the commercials every summer uh, when it begins to come around about sunscreen, about melanoma, which is probably, if not the most, one of the most aggressive forms of cancer. But sunlight contains UVA and UVB rays. UVB rays are the ones that actually help produce vitamin D in your body. UVA is the harmful rays. So those are the ones that you want to avoid. Now we do need a certain amount of sunlight for the body to create vitamin D, but we do not need a lot. During the summer months, 15 to 20 minutes max, direct exposure, don't wear sunscreen or sunblock, and preferably in between 11 and one o'clock in the afternoon. Some dermatologists will say between 10 and two, but if you wanna keep it safe, in between 11 and one is probably uh, the better time. Also, um, tanning beds, absolutely not. Tanning beds are a direct hit of UVA rays. It will cause wrinkling, sagging, it will age you, and it can cause melanoma as well. Smoking. Cigarette smoke contains over 4,000 toxins. 50 of those are known to cause cancer. Smoking will affect your skin. It reduces vitamin C in the skin. Uh, the eyes are probably affected the most because of the smoke rising. Also, if you may notice someone who has been smoking for a long time, the lips could be very thin because the smoke will basically destroy the collagen that is in the lips. You will have skin discoloration. Women tend to wrinkle faster and easier than men's skin. 
uh, so smoking is just is overall just not a good thing to do period also secondhand smoke is just as harmful so I would advise that you do not go into places where smoking is allowed because you're gonna walk into just a great saturation of smoke cigarette smoke and the third one that I wanted to talk to you about which is one of the biggest enemies of collagen is sugar and uh, sugar bonds with proteins in your body in a process that is called glycation so you have a protein and sugar will come and bond to it when this happens it releases free radicals that cause great damage to your skin um, they will harden the collagen and the elastin and the body is not able to produce more also there are signs uh, that sugar is is aging your skin you may have very hard patches of hard and shiny skin the uh, hyperpigmentation spots also will form you will have deep crevices around your upper lip and around your left line and one that we really never want to see is your jowl will become very thin and saggy so sugar is probably one of the biggest enemies of collagen and I know that a lot of people did not know this and sugar overall is just it is toxic it is addictive and we should try to keep it out of our diet as much as possible the more you stay away from sugar the less you will want it so next video I'm gonna talk to you about the supplements that I take to build collagen to reverse some of the signs of sun damage because I too was a sun worshiper back in my younger years uh, I do stay away from sugar as much as possible but I do take some things in my body to help my body uh, rebuild the collagen as much as possible so I will talk about those in the next video also I wanted to mention that yesterday Sandra from Life Over 60 with Sandra she uploaded a video on wrinkles the types of wrinkles and products that you can use to reduce the appearance of fine lines and, and of those wrinkles and it is a great video I will put the link below so that you can watch it and subscribe to her channel as well please she's just a beautiful lady and I will see you next time when I will share with you about my supplements have an awesome day be kind be loving to my children I love you kisses and I'll see you next time